Good day guys, Bing here, and today uh, we're going to model a structure like this one. Okay, so it's uh, it's basically a, a mess and then some void. So let's do it. So first create a, a project and component model in place and mess and OK. So now reference spline through point so we're going to create a draw a, create a few of the reference lines so for example i'll just draw five of them so now go to 3d view so i just uh, noticed that if you if you change the points if you change the reference line so for example this one uh, these three points if I, and then select these reference line and create create form you won't be able to do it create a, a form okay so what we can do is control Z let's go back to previous so now they are all flat so select all these five reference line and create form so now we can create this face. So this is the flat face. Now we can select the point of the reference line and lift them up. Okay, so now this is the the mass we need. And um, let me just change the material. So maybe I'll give it a material instead of a, a translucent color uh, material maybe I'll just create a new material and maybe uh, something green color let's have a look shade SD yep that's 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 good uh, maybe too bright consistent color uh, then we can't see the the shape maybe shade SD okay so now we need to do the void okay so go to uh, go back to ground floor again so reference let me change it to shade as well SD yeah go reference and well, I'm going to just draw um, depending on the shape of the void you can also do a uh, splice through points so for example I, uh, um, and also make sure you draw on the floor level so I'm going to use uh, draw on work plan and set work plan so make sure this is on ground floor and so for example you can draw something like this depending on the shape of the void so because we can't do a closed uh, spline so we just need to create another a line to close this so this way we, we will be able to if you select these two shape we can create a void okay and pick the left the one on the left and the one on the left is void so now you will see uh, if you go to side plan so you will see change it to shade SD you will see this that is the void you can still adjust the void okay uh, yep and also you can use other shape so for example a circle and also currently we are inside plan so we just need to make sure the uh, work plan is on ground floor as well so yeah that's all good so for example I'll draw another one here maybe another one here maybe one here maybe one here and then you can select individual uh, reference line create form whoops sorry I should select the create a uh, void but that's okay I'll change it later so let's create void left this one create void the one pick the left one void and the one on the left so now if I go to 3D view you will see all this void 
and this one's solid so we can just select this solid and change it to void sometimes it won't automatically cut the solid but this one looks this time it's, uh, it all automatically cut that, that's fine but it if it uh, if it doesn't cut so you can go go you can use this so manually cut the geometry so I'll exp I'll, I'll uh, demonstrate to you so you can uncut the geometry click on the solid click and then click on the, the void uh, where's my void maybe let's try here okay see and then you can manually cut void okay uh, what's what happened to here now cut solid void and also we'll see this one the height of this board is not enough so let me try to pick the board sometimes it's a little bit hard to pick so um, you can either uncut the board uncut the board uh, hang on oh <laughs> what happened oh looks like it have uh, finally so yeah select this void and then change this height to make sure it's uh, tall enough so let's just cut them again okay so that's now that's it um, okay so now we just need to finish this mess and we need to go create a roof so I'm going to use the roof by face and then I'm going to create a new um, roof type so duplicate I'll call it brick and I'm not sure about the thickness maybe 200 and also if you want to you can add some different materials so it looks like a um, different layer so concrete maybe or some steels so you can add different materials here but for this exercise um, I'm not I'm just going to pick a brick material and okay and okay and okay so now you can pick this surface and then create roof okay so you will see when you see this pattern which means the the face the surface of this roof and this mass is uh, overlapping so and if you want to you can change this so select roof if you change this so face at top of the roof to face at bottom of the roof so you will see the roof will go up so that this the, the mass will go to the underneath of the roof okay. so yeah these are the option so that's that's it um, it's quite simple and yeah uh, I, I know that probably most of you won't be able to do this uh, do this I mean you, you won't be able to climb climb up to the roof but yeah uh, this is just an example okay so and also in case you want to add a railing so for example uh, you can just pick line and pick the edge of this so for now I'll pick these two and finish and you just need to use pick new holes and pick the roof so it will automatically go up to match this okay and um, I don't think you can pick this so you won't be able to pick this edge so this is quite um, probably because the shape of the edge is uh, it's more like a, a spline and you won't be able to pick spline when you create a railing so that's why so maybe just you can still pick the end point of that that um, both end and then you can create a straight line okay 
So that's it. Um, if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Bye.